the Filipino particle sa. The Filipino particle sa is used in a variety of contexts to indicate direction, location, time, possession, and other relational aspects. There are five uses or definitions for the Filipino particle sa. The first one is to indicate location or where an action takes place. It's similar to at, in, on in English. And the second definition is indicating direction or destination um, of a movement. The third one is indicating time, so used to specify when something happens. Often translating to at or on in English. The fourth definition is indicating possession or relationship. Often translated as of or belonging to in English. And then the fifth definition is indicating purpose or function of something similar to for in English. Let us have the following example sentences for the first definition, which is indicating location. Nasa bahay kami. It means we are at home. Uh, bahay, that's house. So, nasa bahay kami. Pumunta ako sa paaralan. I went to school. To make punta means to go. And then paaralan, that's school. So, pumunta ako sa paaralan. Ang libro ay nasa mesa. So, the book is on the table. A libro is a book. And then a mesa is a table. So, ang libro ay nasa table. Ang mga bata ay naglalaro sa parke. So, the children are playing in the park. So, bata, that's a kid or a child. Mga make it, makes it plural. So, mga bata are children. Naglalaro is playing. The root word here is laro. That means to play. And then, a parke is a park. Ang mga bata ay naglalaro sa parke. Kita tayo sa cafe mamaya. See you later or let's see each other at the cafe later. Kita means to meet and then a cafe and then mamaya. That means later. Kita tayo sa cafe mamaya. The second one is indicating direction or destination. Naglakad siya papunta sa tindahan. He or she walked towards the store. Lakad means just walk. And then papunta is going to and then tindahan, that's the store. So naglakad siya papunta sa tindahan. Kumain kami sa restaurant na iyon. So we ate at that restaurant over there. Kumain, that means ate pastins. Kain is the root word. Restaurant na iyon, the restaurant over there. Kumain kami sa restaurant na iyon. Maglakad tayo patungo sa bundok. Let's walk towards the mountain. Uh, laka, laka, that means to walk patungo sa, towards the and then a bundok is a mountain so maglakad tayo patungo sa bundok pumunta sila sa opisina they went to the office Pumun, pumunta uh, went, that's past tense um, the root word is punta and opisina is office pumunta sila sa opisina Dumaan tayo sa makulay na kalsada. Let's pass through the colorful street. Uh, dumaan, daan, that's the root word. Makulay, kulay is color. Makulay is colorful. And a kalsada is a street. So dumaan tayo sa makulay na kalsada. The third one is indicating time. Magkikita tayo sa Sabado. We will meet on Saturday to kita. Magkikita, that's will meet. Future tense, the root word here is kita. That means to see or to meet. And then Sabado, that's Saturday. So magkikita tayo sa Saturday, sa Sabado. Ang klase ay magsisimula sa alas 9 eh, ng umaga. The class will start at 9 in the morning. Klase, that's class. Uh, magsisimula will start future tense. The root word here is simula. Alas 9 is 9 and then umaga that's morning. So ang klase ay magsisimula sa alas 9 ng umaga. Alas 9 also. Kakain tayo sa tanghalian. We will eat at lunch. Um, kakain is will eat future tense. And then the root word is kain and then tanghalian that's lunch. Agahan is breakfast and then hapunan is dinner. Kakain tayo sa tanghalian. 
Ang party ay sa susunod na linggo. So, the party will be a or is next week. So, party and then susunod, that means next linggo is week or it can also be Sunday. Susunod na linggo is next week. Ang party ay sa susunod na linggo. Naglalaro sila sa hapon. So, they play in the afternoon. Naglalaro, that's um, playing. And then hapon is afternoon. Naglalaro sila sa hapon. Number four definition is to indicate possession. Ito ay libro sa kay Maria. So the book is with Maria. So ito is this. Libro is a book and then um, Maria is like the name. So ito ay libro sa kay Maria. Ang susi ay sa iyo. So the key belongs to you. Uh, susi is a key. Ang susi ay sa iyo. Ang pangalan ng tao ay sa akin. So, the person's name is with mine. Uh, pangalan ni sa name at tao is a person. So, ang pangalan ng tao ay sa akin. Ang kotse ay sa pamilya ko. So, the car belongs to my family. A kotse is a car and then pamilya is family. So, ang kotse ay sa pamilya ko. Ang bahay na iyon ay sa mga magulang ko. That house belongs to my parents. Uh, bahay, that's a house. And then magulang, that's parents. Mga magulang, uh, magulang is parent, singular. And then mga magulang is parents. Mga magulang ko, my parents. Ang bahay na iyon ay sa mga magulang ko. Next definition is indicating purpose or function. Ito ay gamot para sa obo. So, this is a medicine for cough. Uh, gamot is a medicine and then obo is cough. Ito ay gamot para sa for obo. May regalo ako para sa iyo. So, I have a gift for you. Regalo is a gift. And then, para sa iyo is for you. May regalo ako para sa iyo. Ang listahan ay para sa meeting. So, the list is for the meeting. A listahan, that's a list. And then, para sa meeting, for the meeting. Ang listahan ay para sa meeting. Kailangan mo ng ID para sa pagpasok. You need an ID for entry. Kailangan is need. And then, to pagpasok is to enter. Um, pasok is the root word, to enter. Kailangan mo ng ID para sa pagpasok. Ang salamin ay para sa pagbabasa. So, the glasses are for reading. Salamin, that's a glasses. And then, basa is to read. Ang salamin ay para sa pagbabasa. And that is all about the Filipino particles sa I do hope you learned something new from this video. Maraming salamat and see you in the next one.